You're in Miami. You know Andrew Tate. You've been to his home in uh, Romania. Uh, you know his brother. Um, what kind of guy is he? I mean, many people who don't know much about him will hear some of the stuff he's been saying, which I play to him and challenge him on in the interview, and they'll be horrified. But what do you think? He's a, an incredibly intelligent man. Um, I think what he's doing is very important. Right now, there's a huge war on masculinity. Men don't really have any kind of um, role model that they can look up to. Um, Andrew has been very kind and very generous with me. Um, like I said, I know him personally. I also know him from a business standpoint. Um, I've spent time with him one-on-one. -on -one. I've never felt uncomfortable. He's never been inappropriate with me. Um, a lot of people accuse him of misogyny. He's never been misogynistic towards me. Um, and I think what he's doing is incredibly important. I, he didn't say, oh, I, I just, I only date 19 years old, I prefer. He was making the point, and he could have phrased it better, absolutely. But he's saying Which he that, did concede, actually, yeah, later exactly. in the interview. But I, the point he's making is, and he's a very intelligent guy, like Leo was saying, so he knows what he's doing when he's saying that. Obviously, he's got a massive reaction from it, so clearly it's worked. Mm. But the point is, you know, he's saying that younger women who have had less experience with men in general are more desirable because they don't come with a certain amount of baggage. Now, you could say there are women that are more experienced that come with less baggage because they know what they want or they're more mature well, mentally. Should, but my view is he shouldn't be talking about women in that generalised way people, at all of any age group. But there I mean, are people with no, those I views. know a lot of 25-year-old women in my time, they're, they're all very different. It's like the idea that yeah. you bracket them all in this revolting way, which he did, which is just a kind of lad in the nightclub kind of way, it's fine. But, but that's a generalisation. To do it with a bit, he deserved the punishment he's got. That was my real conclusion, no, if I'm honest. Yeah, I don't think he said anything wrong. I think all he's doing is talking about reality. And I don't think it's misogynistic to say you prefer a woman that's 18 versus 25. Oh, it's literally just a sexual preference. It's the same reason yeah, why that's young not, women I don't prefer think, older Just to men. jump in, do I don't think... Cool? Do we, yeah, but I don't think that's the misogyny. I had this argument with my sons earlier right. when they saw the clip. The misogyny isn't that he has a preference for girls of 18, 19, over 25. The misogyny is in the way he talks about every woman who's 25 so you, but, but that's as if they're all the reaction. same and they've all been through this tawdry reaction. background which he finds so distasteful that's obviously ludicrous well I think, he, I think he speaks with a lot of hyperbole. His goal was to go viral. Obviously, as Esther mentioned, not all 25-year-old women have been sleeping with every single man that they meet in the nightclub. So there's always exceptions. But I just think in general, a 25-year-old woman obviously has had more experience than an 18-year-old woman. And some men prefer that. Some men don't like that.